You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by UB Tech for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today and watching this video. It is for the Gmu Robot MeBot Kit. And thanks to UB Tech for sending this to me to check out on video. This is the interactive robotic building block system. I almost want to sound like a robot as I'm saying it for ages 8 plus. Now they also sent me an expansion kit to check out, but I will do that on another video because it kind of works in conjunction with this one. So I need to build this first. Let me turn this around here so we can see, learn a little bit here. So it says, let's see, the Jimu robot interlocking system snaps together in as many ways as you can imagine, and then moves to the program you create. This kit has all of the parts, connectors, and robotic servo motors to build this adorable MeBot robot or use them to create your own robotic invention. Doesn't that sound exciting? I know there's a lot of pieces in here. So when I get back, I will have this out of the package and we will get started. We'll take a look at everything that I need to do to build this robot. All right, so as the plastic was coming off, I thought, well, let me record that. It's always neat to see. There is some more text here on the bottom, kind of information if you want to read that. Something about the package must be retained since it contains important information. Okay, so keep the packaging. Remember that. And then it almost looks like it pushes out. I don't think so. Let's see. Okay, oh, it's not connected here. All right, so this is a, a flap. You feel it's, it's magnetized. It's catching. Pretty cool. And then here is some information on the inside. This talks a little bit about the app here, the free Jimu Robot app. Features all of this. Interactive robotic building block system, so we kind of read some of that. The main control box, the parts, the robotic servo, connectors. And then what does it say here? Hmm, get the free app. Okay, I'll have to do that. Build your robot, program and control, share your robot. All right. And then, I don't know, does that come out? Ah, open. Okay, simple enough. I'm assuming I just do that and then that. Ooh, nice. Ooh, very cool. Look at that. It's pretty high end packaging, I have to tell you. It's pretty interesting the way to have it all nicely laid out. It looks like there's a booklet in here. Let's see. Yeah, booklets in here. And then this looks like it's connected, but it goes over all the parts and only folds so, folds so far back, so I can't really straighten it out and then qualified certificate that's pretty cool so let's see connectors fasteners and then here is the booklet so where do i need to start well let me do this now now that i have it open for you i will read through some of this see the best way to approach this and then i will uh build it with you but it looks like Box number one is the only one, this is the only one with a tab, so it would be the first one to move, right? And take out. Ooh, and I just ripped it. All right, there you go. Beautiful packaging, and I just destroyed it. It is so nice in there. Here, let me try it this way. Okay. Ah, whoo! It must have been stuck. I think it was stuck under the lip of this one. That's why. All right, box number one. Let's see. Little plug. Okay, so this looks like the charger to keep him nice and charged so he can do his thing. You know me, I'll fix this. I'll retape this back. It'll look like it never happened. Well, let's do this now that we've done it this way. Now that I've destroyed my box, that's box number one. Let's get some more room here. And we'll just go over and see all the parts right now so that I can see what I'm faced with. Box number two. This is the robotic servo motors, okay? And then there's a piece of foam in there that's protecting it. Main control box. Okay, so that holds the whole thing again. There's nice foam to protect it and keep it safe. Okay, there's that, there's that, there's that. And then that, 
Okay, so I got all the wording right. Pretty neat. And then the character parts. And these are in a bag, okay. I won't dump them out yet, but at least we'll have everything out of the box. This says fasteners. And these are what's gonna hold everything together, it looks like. A couple bags in that one. Okay, and then the last one is connectors. Again, in bags, in a bag. Okay, so there is everything. So when I come back, then I'll review it. Looks like I can just close this up. I'll go over the instructions. I will come back and we will officially get started building my Jimu robot. All right, here we are. I wanted to take you inside the app before we got started on actually building so you can see how this is going to help you along. Now you have two sections here. If you take your finger, you can go to filter, which at the top says what ha what you have got. So you would click on the Jimu, which we have, and it's gonna take you back here because this is what we have. And then on the top left corner, you'll see those three little lines. That's your navigation for your model, your community, which I have nothing set up for. And then let's see, there should be back to navigation. Oh, it looks like there's all different kinds of things to do in here. You could see other people's pictures and things that are happening in the community. So let's go back to model. Okay. And then at the top, you will see in blue, my models. And it looks like that will take you to create your own. I'll click on it. So you can pick one and go next and go through the process. All right. So we want to go back to official models, MeBot. There we are. Okay, so this is our MeBot. Now look, you can take your finger and move him around. I bet you can expand it too. You can, so you can see right into his robotic beating heart if you wanted to. And then as you see on the right, there is build, actions, coding, and controller. Then on the left, it looks like USB. So if you'd want to hook them up when you're ready to hook them up to the USB, which we don't want to do right now. And then let's see, actions. Okay, so let's go to build. We're not ready to learn that other stuff. And then let's see, what is it going to take us through? Oh, step one. See, it says, please use servo ID-01. So it's important to do that. It's important to use the proper servo so you don't run into problems. Click OK. Now you'll see on the left is a little graphic of him and... We're working on his right arm. And then, let's see, that looks like it'll go away if you click that little character there. In the top, you see 1 slash 18. Just to the left of that is the parts list. So that'll show you all the parts. So now if we want to we want to find this part, we want to look at it bigger, we can. And then we'll go through this process of putting it together. See, shows you how to snap it together. Now, if I take my finger along the bottom and move that green line all the way across, hopefully we'll get to this point where it says, congratulations, complete. All right, so that's the app. You can also, on the bottom row, there's just two little arrows. That's going to click you step by step and take you through the whole process all the way through the build. All right, I'm sure there's more to learn here, but that's a pretty good quick tutorial. So let's move on now to the actual build. All right, I am back. Now, we just saw what the screen looks like when you're recording directly on the app. I was using my phone for that. Now, I'm going to have to make a change here because after a few tests, realizing that the picture-in-picture -picture with two different screen rates is not easy to do. So I'm going to record. Actually, I'm recording both of my HD cameras at the same time. So one is on the phone, which I will cut in at some point. And here we go, I'm just getting all the pieces out, had the bags ready. And then here are the little cables, which I'll learn more about, I'm sure. And then it says, please use servo ID-01. Okay, so they're all numbered. Maybe I'll just put them in order now, so there's no chance. Hopefully I'm grabbing them in order, I don't know. Okay, and then now I'm going to check to see got the right one there and then do the next step so grab a c4 
I have my box off to the side just to see what a C4 is. Let me get some of these out and kind of get a little more organized. That looks like a C4. And then let me just grab all of the C4 so I have them. I'm not sure if I'm going to show you the entire build. I will probably have to edit some out, so hopefully it all works out. Two, four, five. There should be one more of those. There it is. Okay. So now they're showing you to take this. Let's see. And then this is on top in the back. And then take this and just snap it in. Let's see what we get. Okay, nice snap. All right, that's simple enough. Let's just see if we want to unsnap it in case we're taking it apart and building something else. All right, simple enough. Now let's go to the next one. Oh, you got to cancel out when there's a full screen like that. Now you can actually do this. This is what I was doing to enlarge it and turn it so you can see if you're going the right direction. But I did notice when you are enlarging and then going next, it shrinks it back down. All right, so now I need a C6. Let's see. I'm looking at the box top. C6. There's 10 of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and I dropped one. All right, so at least we know what those are. Okay, this looks actually like one of those. I must have miscounted there. All right, so we're kind of organizing as we go here. Now holding the piece this way, okay, then you take this piece and slide this on. Now there are little arrows. I'm not sure if they mean anything just yet. All right, next step. Okay, now another C4. Nice to have those organized. And it looks like it's going like this. Okay, so we're building something like that. If you're not sure, just kind of angle it the way you need it so you can see the parts. It's really nice having this in three dimensions. Okay, and then they're kind of showing you, hey, it looks like this. Okay, now another C6, which were these small ones. And it looks like it's going here now. Okay. Yep, correct. And then, yes, my alerts might be going off telling me there's emails or something. I'll try to edit some of those. I'll put another one in here. Okay. Everything looks right. Oh, now we need a cord. Let's take a quick study of the cords. Okay, so there's this one. This one, those are close to the same length. Then there's these doubles. It looks like there's a few of those. Okay, and then there's really long ones here, which does not look like what I'm using now. So it looks like there are this size, okay, then this size, then this size. So you have four different lengths. Okay, so it is saying grab length number two, which would be this size, okay? And now we're plugging this in. Let's see. Let's go back here. And we're looking at it this way. Okay. So if this is like this, there should be... Yes, there is. There's a plug in there. Now it looks like it's only going to go in one way. And it looks like this way. Let's just see what happens when you try to... Okay. Won't go in. So be careful there. There's little pins in there. Okay. Next step. That's done. Thank you. I give you extra little steps there so you can kind of see through it. Grab a C5. Okay, it's a double stacker like this. Okay, and let's see what they want here. I kind of need to look at it. You can take it out. You can enlarge it, turn it. So it's on the side with the cable. They have the star going in. I don't know if that makes a difference. I don't see that on the part. Maybe I'm grabbing the wrong part. Let's just see. Ah, it's one of these. One of these little ones. Okay, so this is going here. Star going in. It looks like it's going to slide there. Let's just see what that does. Yep, on the same side with the little cable. Locked in. Yes, it looks correct. Ooh, another servo. ID02. Okay. 
Now, what is it saying? So they show the little arrows and everything on this side. I think these turn, yeah, these turn. So I guess the arrows don't mean as much because they will turn, that is a servo, but let's click OK. Let's look at it large now. So it's the side like this, like this, and I believe like this. Let's just see, now I'll watch it. Okay, good. Now take that cable and put it in here. All right, again, which way does it go? Pins are down. Okay, next step. Yes, this will take some time, so I'll have to do some editing. A P09, let's see, some flat ones. There's two, there's two in green. Okay, and that's correct on the parts list. If you're not sure, just reference the parts list on the inside box cover. And it looks like now they're taking this and sliding it here. Let's see if it locks. It does. You're going to get that click. That click is very important. All right, now they're grabbing, uh, let's see. It says, please use the highlighted slot of Servo 2, okay and grab C2. All right, looks like I'm grabbing one of these. Now they're different, I can just tell. There's some that have it on the right side, this clip, so that's a left one, and this would be a, uh, let's put them all the same way. Okay, so these go together and these go together. So it says R and L. All right, so C2 times 2 is the right. Please use the highlighted slot. Okay, so now we're here. We've got the arrow facing in the right direction. This, let me just check the part now. Ah, see? That perspective helps when you kind of change it around because now, holding this this way, in this part this way, that slot is that way, it looks like this goes into this. And then there's a little pin here and a pin there. Maybe I'll just split up the video and have the build on its own. Ah, okay, get that now. Okay, lock that in, which I did. Check everything, looks great. Ooh, now we get some little round peg pieces. Let's see, just let's study those a second. There's a short side and a long side is the way I look at them. Okay, and then let's enlarge it. Okay, here's what I'm saying. When I press this, it's gonna go small. I wish it would stay full size. So it looks like they want the short side of the pin, see, going in to the top two on this side. One, two, Okay, and then it looks like here and here. I'm only guessing, so I hope I'm not jumping the gun because that's just the way it looks. Let's just see. Okay, that one there, that one there, that one there. Yes. Now a P13, all right, more pieces here. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four of these. Let's see if they're all the same. Okay, so if we put them this way, we'll notice right now they are not the same. You have L's and R's. This one says L. This one says R. Now if we lay them all down, point them the same way, we'll see that these two go the same way and these two go the same way. Okay. So now, on the right, it says a P13. P12... P13 is not this one, is this one, okay, that makes sense now, kind of lining up, it looks like these two bottom pegs are support pegs to hold that, okay, okay, more, going top, the two up top. Pretty much in the same space as the other side. Okay. 
And then now, let's see, does it say? I'm guessing. P12, so now it's the other side. So that this goes like this. If we put the wrong piece on, it will go like this, see, and that's rough. So now we know this. And it looks like it's being supported by that now, so it kind of gives you the same distance, top and bottom. I'm wondering if this is a good stopping time. C5, which are these little guys, right? These C5s. Yes, there were six of those. So now, let's see, it's, it's looking like we're adding it to, now this is awesome the way you can do this. See, now you're looking at the piece, little support pieces. It looks like it's gonna go straight in there. Let's see. Yep. Okay, now a C11. Now that's the ones I don't think I've used. I think it's this one. C11. Yes, it's tall. So that's probably going to clip on. Let's just see. Get the angle we want. Yep. All right. Can't go wrong with that. Nice. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. So one, two, three, four, five, six little red ones. They look to be all the same. They're the same length on both sides. There's a P48s they're called. All right, and then straight in so one two three like this that's the pattern we want one two three did i say six? Oh yeah it is six four i grab five five six okay they're all pressed in Okay, again, if you're not sure, just zoom it all out, look around, say, hmm. Next. Oh, wait a minute, what did it just do? Yeah, we did all those. Oh, it's showing all those go in. Okay, so a P35. Looks like this. What does the P35 do? Okay, it goes up here. Let's just see, so long side out. Two holes, two pins, here. I'm gonna have to stop at some point just to check. When you're making a video, it's always challenging to kinda make sure you're doing it right. Let's see, let's get these out so I have them now. Looks like we're gonna use a few. Now it looks like lengthwise, there's three holes, okay, where's it gonna go? Down the center, opposite, upside down like this. Now bring in another one, looks like it's gonna go next to that other one. Okay, like this. Oh, it did snap. Okay. There we go. That almost looks like an arm, doesn't it? Like a grabber arm? A C6. Hmm. Turn the part this way, grab a C6. Oh, wait a minute. Where did it put that one? Well, let me grab it. It is a skinny piece with a end to it. I don't know if it's that one. C6. Oh, there they are, in the wrong spot. Now it's not showing me where to put that C6, is it? Let's see. Someone's gonna grab a servo. Hmm. 
showing a C6 up here. All right, looks like that is not a piece I need. Unless it was supposed to go under this section here and connect these two. Let's see, maybe it's in a, another step. So grab. Ooh, which servo am I grabbing? I missed it. I'm going too fast. ID3. Okay. Got it? Okay. Please use the highlighted slot of servo 1. Okay. This is servo 1. And then I'm taking this, and I believe, let's just see. Okay. It's going to be interesting trying to figure this out now. Okay, I think I see it like this now. This piece like this, and then this servo comes in. And up to this one. Sort of like that, I believe. Let's double check. That looks like it. Okay. Now another cable, the medium cable. That's this one. I think I'm going to take a break here just to verify I'm doing everything right. So it looks like this one goes to... There and there. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Okay. Double check. Not sure why you need a medium there, but maybe there's a reason. Oh, I had it the wrong way. Okay, pressed in, pressed in. Now, they show it like this. They show this cord like this, so maybe that's the reason. It needs to be out of the way. P78. Now, I'm going to take a quick break here, just double check everything, come back, and then continue on. All right, fortunately, I did stop because now my phone is plugged in, as you see, because I ran out of battery. So, Let's see, P78, that's where I'm at now, so I'm looking at the side, let's see. It gives me a nicer look here. Ah, so it looks like it's holding in the cable in this area. That makes sense now why they wanted the cable long. It must be a larger moving distance here. Okay. Next. Ooh, a blue piece. Okay. P09. Now this is holding this way. And let's see. Okay, so the vent, I'm calling that a vent, goes in. Did not clip. There we go. Oh, now totally go whoop. Flip it around. Okay, here's the other side. So the C2, was that the one I used before? I don't remember. C2 looks like this one, yes. All right. These are the trickiest ones to put in. I mean, I mean you have to really look at this now. Like this. So if you're holding the piece like this, you see this is on this side. This clips in here. Voila. Voila. I'm wondering, does this need to be arrow up? Does that matter if this is already turned? See that? If that's already turned, just by the way we got it shipped to us, does that make a difference? See the arrow? The flashing green arrow needs to be down. And it, I mean towards the piece. You know, I didn't check the other ones. So I could be in for an interesting movement here. All right, next. Done? I'm guessing now. Ah, some more green. All right, so let me grab some green ones. Yep, 
You know, I should move this one. Well, it's easier for you to see what I'm grabbing here. I'll just move it in a little. Okay, let's see. Turn it this way. This is the side with the wire. Kind of the same thing here, 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 and here, I'm guessing. Now we can see it this way and just do this. That is correct. And I'm pretty sure it's skinny short side in. And now I'm worried about my other servos. But I guess that's part of building. Pay attention. Okay, so now we almost don't have to look at this one. We just know that it's got to sit flat here. Right? And then probably one on the other side. One, two. So same as before. Okay, so it kind of matches that now. That all kind of matches. All right. Now a big base. Ooh, a new piece. So the piece is kind of like this. See that? Slide it in. Okay, now four pins on the bottom, looks like we're on step five actually, two, three, four. Oh, look at them, I thought they were in the corners, but they're not all in the corners. So if the red hand is up, this position we need. One. Is anybody still with me? Two. Let me hold it this way. And three. Okay. And four, actually, but. Oh, now a big red bottom piece. Let's look at them, see if they're all the same. It says there are two of these, okay. It looks like there is a edge there, so maybe that's something we need to be aware of. Let's see if the details on the schematic of the part. It's not, so is it the edge up or the edge down? That is the question. It looks like it's a flat surface, so. I'm guessing it's not this way because it's unfinished. This looks like it needs to go this way, but let's see. Let's match up the holes. This edge here, and then press. Okay, so we don't know now the direction of this piece, but it looks like there's some movement there. So there's more than meets the eye there, unless, well, let's do this. I'm gonna stop here. Double cut, check a couple things and then come back and continue on. All right, so I had it wrong. These green pins on this piece, see this is where they're, I wasn't even looking, I should have been, are the long side here and then the short side out. So that is something I didn't notice. And then yes, the foot is right. I looked at the box, so the plate that has the ridge on this edge is gonna go up because now this is sort of like half his body, I think, on this side. So that is confirmed. All right, so let's skip ahead. I had to double check, got that, done, done. Now, I need the longest of the cables, okay. 
but I want this up and facing this way. All right, and then let's see. This servo, okay, that is not a servo connection there. So it looks like that's up and down. That's right. So it looks like the servos are correct. Okay, so if you paint, flip, flip this this way, there is a, ooh, maybe not that one. Let me see that cable. It's a long cable with a bigger end. Uh-oh. It's the longest of these cables, not these. So it looks like this one. There is a fourth skinnier long one. This is a three prong. Oh, I have it right. Three on the bottom. Hmm. Three on the bottom. Oh, there it goes. Okay. All right. Then, okay, plugged in. Got it. Ooh. Please use servo ID4. So that is showing you now it is the this side of the robot. So move this out of the way and we're going to kind of repeat. So server ID4. All right. So let's continue along. Oops. I thought you were charging. There we are. So this and then let's do this again. Everything's going to be Looking at it, I guess, from another perspective, but ID4 is facing this way, and then this snaps in. Oops. Okay, and then, where did I put all that there? This goes in this. Let's just assume this is the same. Now, some of this I remember. Some of this, I'm just going to go step by step, not try to rush. Let's see, make sure that the open, oh, see, there we go. I'm rushing. Okay. And then the second one after that. So it's looking exactly like that other one. Now the shortest of the cables. Hey there, get back in there. Let's just double check. The size, the CD is actually upside down it is. Everything's good to go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, a C5. That's one of those little ones, one of those. On this side. Okay. Okay, servo five. Now it looks like it's going this way. Yes, everything is correct. This looks like it's gonna go like this. Remember that? Get the wire out of the way, but let's just double check. It's always best to double check. Okay, grab the servo. Okay, slides in. And let's see, this is in front. It looks like it's gonna slide in, but this is actually this way. And then this goes this way. Right? This plugs in here that I remember, but I will make sure I have the cable the right way. It's probably going to be one of the longest videos I have ever done, mainly because I can't really get the pieces set. If I had the pieces in order, 
because I'm following it on their system here. Unlike if I'm using a sheet with all of the instructions where I can jump ahead, kind of prep, you know, like I've done in videos. Okay, so now we're using the opposite side. Making sure this Zervo, Zervo is pointing out, and it looks like it's going to do this. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, so now it's green. I'm not going to take a chance with those little pegs. I know these go the one way, skinny side or short side in. Okay, so it was two here. here and here and I'm not even paying attention but let me grab it just to be safe got it yes short side in and now the piece that covers this side is it going faster I don't know now flip it over and put two at the top one two got it There. Okay, now I need a C5, which I believe is these. I keep forgetting. It's kind of similar to the other piece, but not exactly. It slides into the end here. And then, what is that? A C11. Is that a C11? No, nope, that's a C11. What are you trying to show me? Okay, slides down. Nice appendage you have there. Oh, I remember this now. All the reds. Okay. Now those go. Remember the order? getting it just right so if we're looking at it this way this way okay now I remember this part skip all that okay was one going this way, one going this way, and one going this way. And I'm jumping the gun. Let's move this out of here. Okay, there we go. So servo ID6. So we got the last servo winding down the pieces, everybody. So this is like this. This is like this, okay, it's gonna give me hopefully that nice flashing green light. Yes, it says it's important to use proper slots so you don't run into problems. And slide it right up. So this is on the top. Let me just make sure arrow going in, yes. Perfect. Now, a cable to connect this. Okay, I got the super long ones and three mediums left, and this is the medium. And since this one's connected to this one, we know this one has to be connected to this one. Right, so the power is running right through all the servos. Okay. 
I believe that was the situation, but we will see. And I got to clip that off to the side. But Yes. Ooh, this one here. Where was this piece? Here, this one. Okay, so that's the look we want. So it's going from this one on the side. Oh, wait a minute. Aha. Almost made a boo-boo. And it goes to this one. Don't do what I did. Don't jump the gun. And then this goes in like this to kind of hold it all in place. Yes, this is like this. Okay. Okay, those of you that are yelling at me, or yelled at me through the screen, I understand. I'm going to take a quick break here. Well, let me get this blue piece in. So this like this. Looks like it's in here. Okay. And then, yes, I do think I need to take a break. I'll be back with this next group of steps. All right, super excited to get on with the build. I did want to show you I am now charging this. Did not say to do that, but I'm doing it anyway. And of course, for USA, you need to add this on to your end here so that this gets pushed in. You kind of match it up, push this in, and you'll hear a click. Hold on. There, now it's in. Now this is going on the charger again. And I will show you, it's red. Here, I'll untie it and show you so we can keep it off to the side and then we'll know exactly how long this is going to take. See this, red. So it's out of the way of both cameras, it's charging. All right, so where was I? I am now on this piece. And then it's going to go somewhere in here, right? If we remember correctly, make sure this servo is this way. Click OK. And then this is going to slip onto this. You kind of have to like bend this out just, a, just slightly to get it over that initial edge so that it locks in okay next ah more pins this is where you're going to put on the blue section so let's gather those this is a definitely a big project so don't expect to get it done in 10 minutes it will not happen Okay, so now we're on this side. Okay, and then it is saying, what are you saying to me? Oh, up there and there. All right, so the short pins, watch. But I'd say we're almost halfway. And was it down here or up there? Let's see. Oh, it's up top. Yes, it needs to be this way. I'm looking at the picture wrong. I know, I remember. I just did this. Flip it over. Two on the end this side. And then put on the same piece. but it's the reverse, so. Okay. We're getting there. Now it's this bigger platform piece. This goes on. And then next step, the pins. Let's get these right this time, Dave. 
So four greens. See, from that perspective, you really don't know exactly what holes they are in, do you? So if you hold it this way, you know the arm is this way. You see the red up here and the red on the screen. And then remember now, it is the long side in. Don't make my initial mistake. And then grab your red plate. And now it looks this way with the arrow going this way. And then this onto this, and it should snap on. Let's just make sure that's where they want it. See, look at the holes. Yes, yes, and yes. Here we go. This is a satisfying snap. Okay, leg number two, arm's gonna go up. He moves at the hip. Good. Now, uh, the long cable. Uh, that was the one I accidentally put it in. I should have been paying more attention. And now I can see that it goes here. Okay, just like the other one. That's gonna make a connection. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's just make it look like that. That's kind of the way it looks. Ah, but this way. There. These are in the front. Those are all in the right direction. Okay. Kind of see what's happening here? It's like this in the picture. All right. Now I'm guessing that moves out of the way. Okay, so they've totally turned it around now. Oh, wait a minute, I had that wrong. There we go. So now we have this one. All right, well, I'll tell you what, let me get set for this next group of steps now that I know I am closer. Get everything twisted just right, and then we'll finish building. Looks like just his head and connecting him. All right, I have everything correct now. This pad I actually had on this way. It's really easy to fix. And it was supposed to go this way and that's why I was a little confused there but now I think I have everything lined up right and now step 11 moving on here we go c5 which I have here and then c6 which I have here and then a c that goes on to this we're con we're connecting his legs now let me just double check that. All right. That looks like that. Then grab another C6. Like this. And it looks like it's going to go this way. There, now it's connected better. Okay. And this is a big point here. Big point. We're, we're connecting him now. So let's take this, this here. This to this here. And now it looks like we have the legs right. Okay, we have a connection. Now they want you to turn him around. Everything here looks correct. I'm guessing the same thing on this side. C5 and two C6s. Okay, this will probably lock him in better now. All right, and then probably the same thing. I'm just assuming, yes, this all kind of lines up and they actually have it going this way so that the shiny side is out. Okay, and it looks like that cable, that one cable, is in between those two connecting pieces. Let me just make sure. Let's get that out. We're not supposed to be in there, so be cautious there. There. Did you hear a little snap? I did. Oh, wow. Here we go. 
a whole new world now. New colors, new pieces. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five red pieces. I want to make sure now. Okay, five. So skip two, then one, two, one in the middle, and then two, and there should be two on the end. Okay, looks good. That's getting exciting now. Definitely exciting. Now a long yellow. And the long side goes in. I'm guessing this is some kind of pivoting option here. And then a green goes over that. So the green goes over these two only. So there's a hole with nothing in it, that one. Kind of interesting having oh because it goes from the other side short side in so it looks like that and i think we have that let's enlarge it it's kind of interesting working between two different cameras something new for me okay now this piece goes over so that it looks like just one long yellow piece sticks out. And now one yellow short side goes in the middle. And then a blue one goes over that. It's like we're just building up here, building up infrastructure for my robot. And then a red next to that. Okay, I wonder if I should try split screen with this instead of putting a picture in picture. Hmm, we'll see. There. And that's what we look like. Okay, now, look at that weird piece. So there's two going this way and two going this way. Got it. And then one on the other side so that the holes go out. I guess it doesn't matter on this piece. And no matter which way you put it, it looks like it's going to be the right way. Okay. And then four red ones. Now the red ones are the only one that are the same length on both sides. Not bad so far, just a few mistakes. Corrected now. Better now than later, let me tell you. Okay, so I'm looking at this, it looks like the long side is up. Like this. And then a repeat. Betcha it's going to be the same on the other side. Let's just do it. Yes. All right. Now turn it around. And four more red on the outside of these. goes across. Let me just verify everything here. See that? So there's two holes on the outside on both sides. OK. 
Okay. And another green goes above that. I'm running out of pieces here, so we're on step 13. Can't be much more after this. Let's just look. Looks good. All the holes match up. Yes. Now where are those going? Wait a minute. Step back. Okay. Isn't that nice? So one, two, three over. And then, oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. They should have gone here. And here. This is a good test now. How to get these out. All right, I'll tell you how I'm going to get them out. Grab a tool. We're going to need to know this anyway to get this apart. Let's see if I push. Yep, push on one side. Comes right out. No biggie. Okay. Now a blue goes in front. So it looks like one stays down, so it's this way, and it's like this. And let's just presume. It's not, I'm in trouble. Yes, Ooh, good. Hmm. Now next to that, going this way, is some red. Hmm. Am I gonna squeeze something in there? double check it's nice you can turn it look at it see next those are all in now two more greens lock into there okay and they all kind of line up height wise so that's a non-moving piece now before it looked like it was gonna control or move something but now it does not. It looks like it's necks and a shoulder or something like that. Uh oh. Okay, so one, two, three, six greens, and it looks like the long side. Look at that. Now how cool is that? I now wish if I I wish it would stay there when I did this. Okay, so six going up, long side, in. Let's just double check. Yep, see that? One. getting there. Pieces slowly disappearing. Okay, it's just turning it around. Showing, oh, here we go. This is going to be part of his back area. All right, here's a good stopping point. I'll align everything, make sure I have it right. And we're gonna put the next piece in. All right, so everything appears to be correct. Now these six bins are gonna line up and lock this in, I'm hoping. That worked. And that worked. That has definitely stabilized him now and really locked everything in place. So now there's no other movement anywhere on him. 
Let me change the angle slightly here so we can kind of get a new perspective of him. Look at that. Now we're building up, I think. Now, let's see. Camera two. Camera two. Snaps in. Good. Ooh. All right. So this is charging. It looks like, let's see. So three pins going down. I'll unplug it for now. Okay. It looks like this goes this way. Okay. And then what happens next? They show eyes on him. I have never I haven't put eyes on him yet. Let's see. Okay, so I need some parts. Okay, so if this is like this, arrow one is going up. Looks like the long side here. It's going to slide in here. Now these pieces here look different than the pieces in the actual schematics. Yeah, these are flat, but they're grooved. So if that might throw you off, don't be confused. Two. And then three. All facing this way, so the flat side of the battery is going towards us. Okay. Let's see what happens next. Ooh, ooh, like that. Uh-oh. What's going on here now? That was a C11. I only have one of those left. Snap in. There we go. Let me turn this up again. Looks like I got a little too close there. A little too close for comfort. And then, oh, two more reds. Oh, we're not done. Okay, so let's see where you want those. Where do you want those, my friend? My robot friend. One, two. One. Okay. Now a gray piece. Locks in there. And then two more red pins go on the outside of that. Okay, now a flat. Oh, look at this. Now this is your on off. Okay, let's see. Which way does it turn? The on off goes up. On will be on the right. Okay, I just don't know which holes it goes into yet. The top holes. Like this. Okay, I'm guessing that's gonna need a cable. It's, oh, there you go. That's the skinny two prong. Very long cable. Okay. Exciting. This is exciting. Now, now I, I'm feeling like, okay, we've accomplished it. Looks like everything's been connected together correctly, hopefully. And then that goes into your power, which is on this side. And then the other one, let's see, pins go this way. Okay. Please use the highlighted slot of the main control box. Important to use proper slots so you don't run into problems. I believe you on that. No argument there. Okay, two red. Let me move these over here. We're running, we're running out of parts, so at this point. Two reds, so they have it turned this way. And it looks like these two. Now one, two, three, this is probably mm, telling it. Servo one, servo two, servo three, maybe line one, two, three. his 
his eyes. I hope so. We want to give him eyes. That'll make him something we can recognize. Okay, so two on the ends there. All people are getting excited with me right now because it's gonna be neat to see this thing come to life after all this work. Ah, his eye. Here we go. He's going to look at me now. I shall name him. Aha! He now can look at me. Well, blink at me. Okay, so one. Looked like it was in the center. And then one piece of eye. There's his eye. There, now he's blinking at me. Because I have to put his other eyeball on, right? Okay. Even though I know I just did this, and it's like, all right, I know exactly what to do. I will have to still follow along with the steps, right? Just so I keep up with it. We are at 17. There is not much more to go. They give you plenty of pins. There. Look at that. I am looking at you now. I am a robot. UB Tech. That is my name. I have to come up with a name. Aha. Uh -huh. Attach. All right. Let me make sure I have it all right. Well, let me just see. I don't know what to do with the cables just yet, so I'll even come out the back. It kind of just looked like it went like this. That's what it kind of looked like. That's what I'm guessing. All my cables are out. Although that one's underneath. So let's just, uh, ooh, I hit camera two. Let's do this. Let's see what's the next step. Hooking everything up. So yes, I will verify everything, come back, and then finalize my robot. All right, so I noticed then when I put that head on, it was a click on one side. I did not get a click on this side. So let's see if we can do that. Or was it this side? Oh, it was this side. So I kind of had to hold it and support it to get this to click. There, that stabilizes him. Now, let's see. I jumped ahead just so I can see that I had everything right there. And then there is one cable in slot five and it's flashing. And then this cable in the middle slot here. Okay. Double check. Goes in, goes in, goes in, goes in. Okay. Now let's see. Congratulations. Complete. Woo. All right. I'm actually running out of space on my disc. That was so long. So I'm going to... Kind of clear everything out of here, regroup my thoughts, come back, and then move on to the next set of steps to get this thing powered up. All right, it is fully charged. It did take uh, maybe 45 minutes or longer to charge it. And then as I was going through, I realized this is the tool set in the instructions to take out the little connector pieces. And I'm sure this one has a purpose too, probably the same thing, depending on what you're using it for. Don't forget that. And then here's everything. That was left over. All right, so let's unhook it now. And then let's turn it on back here. Okay, and then let's head over to the phone now. Okay, so this is done. Let's click OK. And then last step. Oh, that wasn't the last step. I thought we were on the last step. There it is. Congratulations. That's where we were. 
Ooh, congratulations. Now the controls. Wait, I'm not done yet. I want to go back. Yes, I am done. And then, okay, so these are controls, like if I want to actually move them. So please connect the robot. Let me see. I wonder if I have to turn on Wi-Fi settings. Let me turn on Bluetooth. And then let's go to Bluetooth. And then let's see. Somewhere, doesn't it say scan, search? Okay, searching. Okay, there it is, the Jimu. Pairing. Hopefully it doesn't walk off the table at this point. All right, there we go, it is paired. Now let's go back here. Let's see, will it do something? Let's see, left. Please connect the robot. Ah, so I still have to connect. Maybe it's this, I was looking at this earlier. Jimu, do I click on it? Aha. So now the app needs to connect. There we go. Main control box, 1D. Read to text. So it looks like it's got everything but the main control box. Upgrading. Now's a good time to stretch. Okay, so when this is done, let it finish what it's doing. There it is. So that might take a little time. I will come back then when that is complete. All right, I am back now. I noticed too that this is flashing green on the roll. It was flashing green, now it's not. It says it's done, success. Device upgraded, confirm. Okay, let's go back. Let's see if we can just at least get him to do something, actions. And then let's see, twist. Oh, that's kind of, uh, what he can do. I don't think that's actual controller. There we go. Alright, I guess I'm just learning. Let's see. Does he do anything when I... Oh, he does. Okay. Let's go this way. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Alright, so that's that. And then let's go back. Oh, that's forward. Okay. And then what's this? Okay. And then, let's see, what's this? Oops, hit my camera there. Whoa. Okay, seems pretty stable. This. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so that's backward, that's forward. Let's see what this is. Oh, so we can actually tip down to his hand. Alright, so what did I say? That was backwards. That was forward. This is backwards. Okay, so let's turn him. Oh, that's sideways. Sorry. Let's keep moving him over. Back. That's almost like jumping, going crazy. Look at that. Very cool. That's neat. All right, let's move him up now. Let's see how close we can get him to the camera. Okay, so what's this up here? Settings. Dance. Is it like different modes? Let's see. Okay, it's not doing anything. I'm clicking on it. Don't know what that's doing. It's not doing anything. Let's go back out and see. Coding. Now this is probably a little bit more than I want to do right now, but let's see. Okay, so when start, start, okay, actions, crazy dancing, moves, rotate servo 360, ooh, that looks like it's, ooh, okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to really study that, this is not something that I should just do, and it looks like you would save it and then start, I have no idea what I just did. And whatever it's doing, it's not communicating, so that is not the way to do it. Let's put an action in. 
Crazy Dancing. Start. Let's see if it does that. No, I don't think it's working. At least I don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's go back. Cancel that. So I guess you can program all of your steps and moves. Now let's turn them back in here. Let's go back here. Let's play a little bit more. I, I guess what I'll do now that we know what to do is I'll have to come back and maybe do just a video of him moving and dancing and more of the app now that he's built and ready to go. It's just fun pressing the buttons. I wonder if this is like a user defined button that you have to set up. Okay, did you see that now? So if you do multiple buttons, oh look. I forced him to fall over. Sorry, buddy. So if I go... So he will do that and that. Okay, so he has to think about the backing up. Ooh, what he's doing now? Can we do that? Oh, yeah, look at that. Whoa, get in here. All right, so let me just show him, you know, circling here by hand so you can kind of see. Now you could tuck these wires in. There was a couple extra pieces. Maybe you can use those to, you know, button this up a little bit. They'd probably tuck around these real nice so that they're in there nicer. Okay. Here's what he looks like on the bottom. And here he is. Looking at you funny. All right, well, there you go. I think I covered it. I would say it works good. Just take your time. I didn't make a few mistakes in there, but I, fortunately I caught it before I got to the final stages. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I will have an update video with him doing more stuff now that he's built and ready. And now that we've tested learned about the app. Let's really just freak him out. Let's send signals everywhere to him. Okay, he doesn't know what to do. All right, off to playing with my new robot. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Whoa, whoa, later. Oh, poor guy. Like a, like a robot out of water there. All right, so I thought I'd add just a little bit more to this video because I was working with this just a little bit more. Let me get that set just right there. And then I went to coding just to see if I could figure it out a little bit better. And let's just say, okay, under actions. Now these are pre-programmed actions. So if I want him to back, go backwards, I can just do that. Now watch, if I hit start, he should walk backwards. As long as he's connected, let's see. Come on, start. Okay, so hit stop. Now if I want him to dance, let's see, I can put in crazy dancing. So he's going to walk backwards a little bit and then do crazy dancing. Let's see. Okay, and it's kind of flashing through each one. So let's say we want to add this other dancing. Let's add happy. Let's see what happy is. Now we'll hit uh, start. Let me move him up just a little. He's hitting the back. And hit start. Ooh, I missed it. So now he's on back, going backwards. Crazy dancing. And now he's on happy. Ooh, that one's cool. All right, so let's see, moves. Okay, so this is more precise. So you can move certain servos. I haven't gotten into that. And then control. So this is like actual coding statements. If conditions are true, then do this. Wait for conditions true. And then you just grab these. Now, I haven't really played with these much, but 
you can add them in and let's say you want to get rid of a component piece like this one here you can just drag it and there's a little trash that comes up in the corner and throw it in the trash you could also take off all of this and just move this back in wait hold on get rid of the top piece okay and take it apart and then just get rid of walking backwards and then oh, I don't think I got rid of it I think I went near the trash but not in the trash and then happy let's just put in a bunch of action dance moves here let's put in there's another dance and then let's put in crazy dancing and then twist and then happy and I'll tell you what let's get him dancing let's put some music on and we'll see how he does we'll add this whole thing to here all right let's see what happens done there kind of went on the screen a little bit there but I tried to get him back in there look at him he's going crazy come on in back here all right so there you go so that's a little bit more about the programming I'm sure there's a lot more but you can't just uh, pick it all up instantly so you have to learn you have to experiment and uh, that's about it so I'll send you off with this and again thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop thanks for watching this video and here you go, one more time through the whole routine. This time, let me start them off way over here. And then I will back the camera up just a little. And we'll just let him go.
If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.